2021 could be the year of mergers and acquisitions. Why? Carol D's uh, John Little got answers from Kevin Campbell. He's the CEO of Cinity, a data management company. A couple of things. One is that when people have studied past crises, whether it's the 2008 financial crisis or any crises in history, what people found was that the companies that did the best coming out of that were the ones that looked at this opportunity to relook at their strategy and then decide what things that they want to double down on and what things they want to maybe focus less on. So with a crisis like this, the winners typically, and they've learned from the past, but we're also generally known that now's the time to look at your competitors and decide, you know, how do you outpace them going forward? And that creates a lot of opportunities for people that want to then, you know, consolidate, double down on a position and get rid of a position. So, you know, they may have a division that was moving along at a slow pace and they say, rather than let that move at a slow pace, let me go double down on this other division and do it. But there's also combinations of somebody's product and somebody's customers. And generally, this just creates a chance for more creativity. And of course, there'll be some people who look at it and say, hey, coming out of this crisis, we can't survive. We need more. So, you know, they're going to want to sell. So some assets that some that you may have looked at in the past, people then go back and say, hey, you know, it's now more affordable than it was. And so I can do it for strategic reasons, I can do it for financial reasons, and I can do it for focus reasons. Now, in addition to, you know, the gigantic mergers and acquisitions that make the big headlines, do you think it's going to be just as big of a year for, you know, small business acquisitions, maybe competitors in the same field in the same region, like here in North Texas? Absolutely. For us, you know, we're about a $150 million company. And I can tell you that we've already had over half a dozen, and I think it's just starting different opportunities where we could acquire a competitor or somebody wants to have a strategic discussion with us. And I think that's just starting. I think there'll be a ton of those opportunities in the next year. And so what you're really looking for, and you know, other companies in North Texas might be looking for is ways that they can take what their strengths are and somebody else's strengths and either just get stronger or pursue new markets. So I think there's going to be a huge number of opportunities out there. That was Kevin Campbell. He's the CEO of Synenity with uh, John Little.